As we've just mentioned, France says it will invest nearly $50 million in anti-terror efforts in Africa's Sahel region. The investment period is between 2017 and 2022. The targeted countries in the Sahel region include Chad, Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali and Mauritania. Well, let's get more now from Deji Batmas who joins me live from Lagos. So Deji, what is the likely impact of the pledge by France in the fight against terror in West Africa? Well, there's no question that um, it would have um, some impact, even though if you ask me, I would say what uh, France is pledging, is committing to this, um, to this is, is, is actually small. You'll need much more. But, uh, of course, uh, there's no question at all that if um, uh, the, the region, the Sahel region now, if it had been very effective in dealing with terrorism, for instance, um, uh, the attack on Burkina Faso and, and even when part of Mali was overrun, we wouldn't have, um, you know, the... the, the, the the help of France would not have been needed to, to check the militants uh, in, in uh, that part of Mali that was overrun. So what I think France is trying to do is to strengthen, especially the G5 uh, Sahel group, to ensure that they are able to respond to any kind of terrorist uh, attack in, in that region and to most especially begin this whole process of intelligence sharing that is coming in, in, in the West African sub-region now. Uh, but uh, altogether, if you ask me, um, there's no question at all that France might need to do more or, or, or perhaps, you know, some other parts of um, the world might need to, to do more for, for that region, especially when you consider the fact that um, militants, uh, terrorist groups now are becoming very active I I in that region. Penina? And countries in the Sahel region have been vulnerable to attacks by extremists. What role is being played by regional blocs like ECOWAS in finding homegrown solutions? Well, in terms of ECOWAS, I know there is, ECOWAS has um, its own plan. For instance, there's what ECOWAS calls um, the ECOWAS Counterterrorism uh, um, Strategy and Implementation Plan. Now, through that strategy and implementation plan, ECOWAS, uh, the, the, the ECOWAS, for instance, has been carrying out series of trainings, counterterrorism trainings now uh, across the region, here in Nigeria and uh, in other parts of um, uh, the region. And um, we also, through that strategy and implementation plan, there is what is known as the Committee of uh, Chief of Staff, as in head of the armies of the various ECOWAS countries now, and they meet regularly where they have this um, intelligence sharing, uh, and even the head of the police of the various countries now meet regularly where they have this intelligence sharing. And, um, you know, they've also established through that plan now uh, uh, financial intelligence units now in, in the ECOWAS countries just to track um, uh, illicit funds now that might be going to funding these terrorist groups. And um, what we've also seen with ECOWAS, we've seen ECOWAS uh, partner with other uh, groups like uh, the economic, economic Community of Central African States, um, uh, which actually led to the formation of the Joint Multinational uh, Tax Force. It's because of that collaboration that you have Cameroon, a country in Central Africa now, being part of the Multinational Joint Tax Force that, of course, uh, been spearheaded by Nigeria. So uh, ECOWAS has been doing quite a lot. And uh, in fact, the group has been asking other sub-regional groups now to, to try to emulate it and do the same thing, even though, if you ask me, we, um, the multinational joint tax force has not been very, very effective. Of course, funding has been a very big issue. But um, in terms of ECOWAS strategy, well, it appears to be working. And the whole strategy is geared towards uh, counterterrorism and, and, and trying to, you know, change, uh, like what is happening in Nigeria now, engaging in a... Um, uh, uh, education of uh, you know groups that are probably vulnerable now to uh, terrorism g trying to get them to change uh, their habit but most especially in terms of security uh, collaborating as i said with the economic community of uh, central african states now through the platform of the multinational joint tax force to take on terrorist groups like boko haram all right digibanma sin lagos many thanks Digi, for joining us